As one of the earliest introduced characters in the series, we get to see Death the Kid evolve as time goes on from an incomplete fragment of his father to a true death god. Being one of, if not the most popular character in Soul Eater, Kid aptly has one of the most interesting sets of powers in the series. So today I will be taking a look at Kid, his weapon partners Liz and Patty, and all of their abilities. Before we get started, it'd be great if you liked the video for the algorithm and subscribe to see future Soul Eater content here on the channel. 13 years before the beginning of Soul Eater, Kid was created from a fragment of his father, Lord Death. Learning from his past mistakes with Asura, Kid was created as an incomplete Shinigami. Being a Grim Reaper comes with a lot of natural physical benefits that give him an edge over everyone else. Kid is naturally stronger, faster, and more durable than his peers by default, and the only person able to rival him throughout the series is, well, his rival, Blackstar. Kid's Shinigami body also gives him natural resistances to ailments such as sunburn or any type of poison or cosmetic changes, as well as giving him an above average healing factor. On top of that, his body was also able to slightly resist the effects of the magnetic storm on the Lost Island. If Kid's anatomy wasn't already interesting enough, he can manifest a skateboard out of his palm that he calls Beelzebub. On top of just making Kid even cooler, it can function as both a regular skateboard and a hoverboard. When using Beelzebub to fly, Kid can travel at speeds up to 300 miles per hour since he was able to catch up to the Runaway Express. It's unknown if this is his max speed, but it is reasonable to assume he can go faster. Beelzebub can also be used to attack, but it's more suited for evasive maneuvers. In Kid's introductory chapter, he can be seen contacting his father, Lord Death, by using three hand signs and projecting his image from the ground. I only mention this because everyone else has to either go to the death room physically or use a mirror to contact Lord Death, whereas Kid seemingly has a natural ability to do so. On a physical level, Kid is extremely well off. As I mentioned earlier, Kid is naturally stronger, faster, and more durable by default, but he knows how to use it. At the beginning of the series, he was regarded as standing well above every other student by Stein, the then strongest Meister. Despite it not being his primary form of combat, Kid is an expert in martial arts. He's skilled enough to take on two opponents at once, Blackstar and Soul, and one pretty handily. His main form of close combat uses his kicks, which are known to create massive craters in the ground with a single blow. Kid is able to effectively apply his long range weapons to a close quarter fighting style called Gun Kata. Kid has a vast amount of speed, and he uses it to his advantage with his Gun Kata fighting style. In his fight with Krona, Kid was able to disappear from Krona's sight and get behind them, as well as having pulled the same type of maneuver on Blackstar when he knocked him out. Kid also has the soul perception ability as most skilled masters tend to have. While not being on the level of Makas, Kid can still sense and see soul wavelengths and even distinguish what creature a soul belongs to, as well as possessing a high level of wavelength control as he's able to wield two weapons simultaneously, which is considered difficult for most other masters. Kid's weapon partners are Liz and Patty Thompson. Despite not actually being twins, they are the twin demon pistols. In weapon form, they look like regular pistols, but instead of shooting bullets, they shoot compressed wavelengths of Kid's soul. Unlike some other types of weapons, Liz and Patty cannot function without a Meister individually. However, they are able to fight without Kid as a pair. Both Liz and Patty are skilled marksmen. Due to their background as criminals, Liz and Patty had to learn how to defend themselves and came up with their own tag team fighting style. Because they have a bond as siblings, Liz and Patty are able to match soul wavelengths and wield each other as weapons. Either Liz or Patty will wield the other sibling in their weapon form and use them. If they are to come under attack, they will switch positions with each other as they are intangible during their transformation process. This allows them to not only avoid damage, but also get the jump on their opponent as seen when they blindsided Anya in Soul Eater Knot and fought against the mummies in their introductory chapter. While Liz is the older sibling and more experienced marksman, Patty is the more physically gifted of the two. Later in the series, it's shown that Patty is an extremely skilled martial artist despite being a weapon. 
She is stated to have defeated five other Spartoy members in a row including Ox, Harver, and Kim and was even called a better hand-to-hand -hand combatant than Maka. Earlier I mentioned that Kid was created as an incomplete Grim Reaper. This is represented by the three white lines in his hair called the Lines of Sanzu. These lines were imposed on Kid by Lord Death in order to make sure Kid matures and becomes a true Grim Reaper through his own development, unlike his brother Asura, who was created as a mature Grim Reaper and ended up becoming a Kishin. As Kid becomes stronger and matures, the lines of Sanzu will connect one by one and grant him a number of abilities. After connecting the first line of Sanzu, Kid gains a sizable boost in his power, allowing him to contend with Mosquito after previously being defeated by him. Kid also gains the ability to reattach his limbs after they've been cut off and defensive shields shaped like skulls. In subsequent releases of the first line, Kid will create a shockwave that is capable of completely destroying any being weaker than him. The second line doesn't necessarily give any special abilities besides flight through the use of propulsion jets shaped like skulls, but is instead used as part of a technique that I will explain later, so just keep that in mind. After connecting the third line of Sanzu, Kid gains another exponential boost in power, making his soul big enough to cover the moon. This makes Kid a true Grim Reaper and grants him the rest of his Grim Reaper powers. As a true Grim Reaper, Kid inherits his father's full Madness of Order wavelength. This is more than likely to be the most powerful ability in the series, and that's why it goes unused. When used, the Madness of Order wavelength has the ability to strip all of the fear from humanity at the cost of free will and human emotion. As fear is necessary to help people grow, both Kid and Lord Death decided to trust in humanity and never use it. Becoming a true Grim Reaper alters Kid's appearance slightly. On top of now having all three lines connected, he gains a cloak reminiscent of his father's and his pupils become skull shaped. The last effect of connecting the third line is the death of the previous Grim Reaper, as there doesn't need to be more than one active at a time. Kid is also effectively immortal just as his father was. Kid is an extremely versatile fighter and has created a number of combat stances to use through his Death God Taijutsu fighting style, so I'm going to explain them all. Death God Taijutsu Crime Stance takes advantage of Kid's speed. It was fast enough to catch Krona off guard but didn't do enough damage to bypass the defensive capabilities of Black Blood. However, it was effective against Blackstar who was knocked out by Kid using the stance. Death God Taijutsu Punishment Stance is more defensive, taking advantage of the defensive shields and enhanced perceptive abilities gained after connecting the first line of Sanzu. This technique is called Death Arm Blocking. Kid's defense isn't completely impenetrable in this stance though as it couldn't protect them from Darkness Discord. The final stance is Death God Taijutsu Mad Crime Stance. This is Kid's attack focused stance and is his most ruthless. In this stance, Kid focuses on exploiting weak points in his opponents. The Mad Crime Stance, which was also used against Blackstar, utilizes the first line of Sanzu and the Madness Take Hold transformation. Again, this stance allowed Kid to manhandle Blackstar for a while. Since I just mentioned it, I should also talk about the Madness Take Hold transformation. When trapped in the Book of Abon, Kid was overtaken by the Madness of Power. This madness unlocks his full potential at the cost of his sanity. In subsequent uses, Kid is able to keep his sanity as long as he doesn't use the ability for too long and is able to completely nullify the loss of his sanity when fighting alongside Soul and Maka. When paired with his partners, Kid becomes one of the strongest characters in Soul Eater. Kid is an extremely skilled marksman with exceptional aim and accuracy. With the Sanzu River Shot and Sanzu Falls Shot techniques, he was able to decimate hundreds of Mosquito's bats in seconds. Early in the series, Kid's soul resonance were the Death Cannons. This turns Liz and Patty into massive cannons, aptly named the Death Cannons, that wrap around Kid's arms. After charging for 5 seconds, Kid will release a massive soul wavelength blast. After awakening the first line of Sanzu, Kid's soul resonance weapons change from the Death Cannons to the Death Eagles. In this state, Liz and Patty's caliber upgrades from 38 
to 42. The Sanju River Shot and Sanju Fall Shot techniques I just mentioned are a byproduct of this upgrade. Kid's most powerful attack is Parent 7 Rays. This attack can only be used once and is stated to be a certain kill. Parent 7 Rays utilizes the first and second lines of Sanzu, Soul Resonance, and a portion of his father's wavelength that were stored within him. After connecting the first line of Sanzu, Kid will construct 5 coffin cannons that will proceed to charge. After connecting the second line, the air around him will start swirling into a tornado, and after pointing the 5 cannons and his guns into the air, he fires 7 rays of light upwards. Again, this is a certain kill attack and one of the most powerful in the series. As powerful as he is, Kid does have a weakness in the form of his obsession with symmetry. Early in the series, Kid is unable to destroy anything seen as perfectly symmetrical, and is constantly anxious about if things in his house are symmetrical, even going as far as leaving missions to calm his nerves. The entire reason he even chose twin pistols as weapons is so he could always be symmetrical, and he's rendered unable to fight if he's left with only one weapon. This weakness starts out as a gag, but is actually connected to his desire for absolute balance, and as Kid matures over the course of the series, it becomes much less of a hindrance to him. Kid is undoubtedly one of the strongest characters in Soul Eater. However, I say one of because there are still a few above him at the end of the series, one of which being his rival Blackstar, who I also happen to have made a video explaining. If that interests you, check it out. That's it for this one. Late now, I'm feeling so, so cool. Yeah. Come and get a taste of the hip soul food. Spice up the animal when you're high cool. While so, go to school, way slash kung fu.